Hello everybody, Lunifarm Guy here with a new mod test for Thursday, October the 20th, and this is Vegetable Greenhouses Melons Watermelons by Fred Fracasis, 8.28 megabytes to download. It is a greenhouse that uh, produces melons and watermelons. Uh, $150 a day per uh, maintenance cost. Um, and 12 slots. There also is, almost missed this, a sell point. There it is, sale of melons and watermelons. Eight slots for that. Well, what do you know? Let's put that right over here. Uh, so you see where that is, and of course the uh, production in greenhouses, there is the greenhouse, 11,500. It produces both of those. Now, what are the capacities? Uh, it does say in the description, 10,000 liters of all products. That's very nice. Uh, so we can see here, water, seeds, and liquid fertilizer is what goes into the recipes. Uh, melon and watermelon, the, both the recipes are the same. 1,440 cycles per month, $2 per uh, month for production costs. And you see three water, two seed, and one fertilizer produces 3.48 <laughs> uh, melons or watermelons. So that's going to be interesting. We're going to see um, how that all uh, pops in. We'll see how that they look and all that sort of good stuff. Uh, here they are. I've just started them off, so they're little itty bitty plants right now. Um, seeds goes in here, water goes in here, liquid fertilizer goes in here. We will show those once we run it. Let's go have a look at the cell point. So I'm looking at this and I'm going to say this is probably what they're going to look like because that's what they look like here. And it quite literally is just a sell point for the products. Let's have a look at the sell prices. Uh, there we go. Melon and watermelon. Sell of watermelons. That's our sell point right here. Uh, let's just do that one more time. There we go. Sell of... Oh, it's... Whoa. How big is that? Wow, that's... That's a really odd, that, okay. <laughs> right, okay, so that's where that is. Uh, so, uh, 1913, 1851, um, yeah, the seasonal prices looks like February is when your best sell price is on this map. Anyways, we're on Fox Farms. This is for all platforms, by the way. Um, the sell everything looks like it's about, it will buy it. So it looks like if you have a sell everything sell point uh, that by Schultz modding, uh, you'll be sell, be able to sell it there too. Right, so let's um, let's just go forward in time and then we'll see what they look like. I, I'll set one, oh, let's do that right now before I forget. We got melons, we got watermelons at the other one. So melons in here and watermelons over here. Do they look any different? They pretty much look this. Oh, it's just an itty bitty baby, itty bitty baby watermelon. You see it there? Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yes, I didn't even notice that. That's an itty bitty baby melon right there. Okay. <laughs> so we'll be right back. All right. So here we are, and we have melons, and they're nice and big and ripe in the greenhouse too. Let's go look at the watermelons real quick. And, oh, they have stayed small. However, we do have watermelons. Let's turn on our uh, help window and our field info. There we go. So uh, 400 kilograms, yeah, it's too heavy to pick up, which was expected. I guess you wouldn't, literally wouldn't be able to pick up a crate of watermelons anyways realistically uh, same here thousand liters so we got uh, 4,000 liters here we should have 4,000 yes okay so because the recipes are both the same that's how they look uh, a little bit odd that we don't have the 
growth in here but that's just a cosmetic thing that doesn't really doesn't really matter uh, these ones look very nice now what have we used up right water is down nearly half seeds about a quarter and liquid fertilizer not not a lot uh, we have plenty of liquid fertilizer there so let's um, let's show the products going in so the seeds deposited over here it is a little bit of a tight spot I would have liked to have seen it a little bit further out but it's still available for this uh, this is a fairly small trailer it doesn't take a lot of seeds and that's where that goes in now if we hop over to their liquid fertilizer these ones are a little bit more generous with uh, with their with their area <laughs> if I don't run into the door there we go so liquid fertilizer goes in there and uh, the water is very much the same as a matter of fact exactly the same it's just right here the water goes in there I don't need to show that it works perfectly fine I've used a couple of different water trailers as well and they 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 all work uh, there might be some out there that don't so if you're having and that's true for any factory or anything like that if you're having trouble putting anything into a trigger number one make sure when you place it down uh, if you have used free toggle mode that the ground uh, hasn't buried the trigger so if you use uh, use the normal mode for placing it's going to flatten out the area and make sure that trigger is available number two what you're using to put in sometimes there's a mod conflict for uh, putting a product in there's a some tankers and so forth don't like certain mods that's just the way it is however using a base game tank or so forth is usually your best bet if you're having a having problems so now as i have been using trying lately these uh this is the auto load trailer that i always use in all my testing and as you can see it works with auto load at least this auto load somewhat slow loading but as you can see it's it's loading quite nicely there we go right so you don't need to I and and I'm all for not using forklifts and just trying to do things easier way and let's check out the cell point where and we're gonna get the trigger to pop up and it pops up right there we're gonna sell it so 4,000 liters of melons sold sixty nine hundred fifty six dollars of course depends on the pricing of uh, the day or the month but at least that gives you a, somewhat of an idea we're just going to go over here to the watermelons and show that and yes and indeed the watermelons are loading up as well now one more thing i just kind of thought of right now is um what if you don't want to and let's unload it and and there we go they're they're back on pallets uh you can't lift them in, uh, at all but um that's that's about it for that um i do believe that has covered everything um we do this is the second one that does melons and watermelons i do believe we have another one uh, however, this is the Vegetable gar Greenhouse's Melons Watermelons by Fred Fracasis. 8.28 megabytes to download, 12 slots for the greenhouse. I can't remember what the slots, three slots, I think, for the cell point. Something like that. Uh, daily maintenance on the cell point. Oh, yes, $25. Daily maintenance on the greenhouse is $150. Thank you for watching. I'm Looney Farm Guy, and remember, it's only a game. So, till next time, bye for now.